And here we go again, another exciting heavy workload test between the S23 Ultra, the king of my previous video, versus the all new iPhone 15 Pro Max with the new A17 Pro Super Bionic Ultra Fast 3 nanometer powerhouse chip that delivers amazing Geekbench scores, which crushes any Android phone. But this is what happens when you put some stress on it. So let's jump into the heavy workload test and take a deeper look at the results. First things first, here is the setup. You will see a thermometer to show you the ambient temperature throughout the test, a secondary phone to initiate a video call on both devices, and obviously the S23 Ultra and the 15 Pro Max Super Hot Edition. Now let's take a look at the settings. Both phones will be using cellular data instead of Wi-Fi, which is more intensive, and 5G is also enabled. The S23 Ultra screen resolution is set to the max, which is Quad HD+, while the iPhone doesn't have this option. The 120Hz refresh rate is active on both, and both are running the latest stable software version available at the time of filming this video, and the 15 Pro Max is on iOS 17.0.3, which is for the overheating issue. And finally, the screen brightness is calibrated, showing almost the same reading on my light meter, which is more than 80% brightness on both. Now let's begin the test. The 15 Pro Max initial temperature is between 27 to 30 degrees Celsius front and back, while the S23 Ultra is between 32 to 33 degrees, and because the iPhone 15 Pro Max looks exactly the same as last year's model, let me clear any doubts by showing you that this one is certainly the 15 Pro Max, with the very innovative action button that you should set as a mute switch same as before because it's very unreachable. Secondly, none of these phones is at 100% battery but the S23 Ultra is at 77% while the 15 Pro Max is at 63%. So let's start with the first task which is a Microsoft Teams meeting, send the invite to the secondary phone and start the screen sharing. Next, play a 2160p video on YouTube and keep it running in picture in picture view. Then start the navigation to Dubai Mall using the native apps on both devices and finally play Asphalt 9. But before starting the timer, let me show you that the game is set to 60 FPS on both and the S23 Ultra graphics is on the highest level. Now the timer is on and let's see what's gonna happen. Before even reaching the first race, I found the 15 Pro Max display started to look dimmer than the S23 Ultra after about 15 seconds, which is totally unexpected. So let's fast forward and see what else we have. After about 3 minutes, the S23 Ultra decreased the brightness as well, and here's a look at the difference in the game menu. Now it's about the same as the 15 Pro Max in brightness level, but after a much longer time. From this point till the 6 minutes mark, nothing changed. But at 6 minutes and 2 seconds exactly, the 15 Pro Max decreased the brightness once more, but it was a big hit this time. While the S23 Ultra is in a much better position, so let's keep going. And at the 9 minutes and 16 seconds mark, the iPhone crashed and locked the screen. It's either because the iPhone didn't like the fact that I'm playing games at 4am while I should be sleeping, or it's a thermal issue. I think it's a new health and a digital well-being feature to help me become a healthier person as Apple really cares. Jokes aside, I will consider this as a failure as the iPhone couldn't finish the test. I will continue for the sake of curiosity to see what else could happen. Thankfully the game and everything else is still running, but the display was even dimmer. I took a quick temperature reading and it maxed out at 47 degrees Celsius. Shortly after the performance also got a big hit, and the iPhone started to lag as expected with a lot of dropped frames, while the S23 Ultra is super smooth so far. And by the way, the S23 Ultra had its second brightness drop at 9 minutes and 44 seconds instead of 6 minutes and 2 seconds like the iPhone, and when you look at both side by side, you can see that the S23 Ultra display is still noticeably brighter. So let's give them 5 minutes extra and take a look at the differences. <laughs> Here is a quick look at the performance after 15 minutes. Still the 15 Pro Max is laggy while the S23 Ultra is exactly the opposite, but I have to give the credit to the iPhone for delivering a better screen sharing performance, but still not good by any means. That definitely has an impact on the game performance, but when you think about it, you will see that with the iPhone you get bad screen sharing and bad gaming experience, while the S23 Ultra at least gave me an amazing gaming performance, so one good thing is better than two bad things. 
Here's another look after 20 minutes and it seems like the 15 Pro Max is noticeably better than the 14 Pro Max when I ran the same test on it back in March 2023. The 14 Pro Max was barely performing at this point, plus it was on 4G instead of 5G like the iPhone 15 Pro Max, so by 2025 we should expect a lag-free iPhone 17. Surprisingly, after 25 minutes, the 15 Pro Max started to perform well. It's not as smooth as the S23 Ultra, but not too bad. So the 30 minutes are over and here is one final look before ending the test. Now let's take a quick temperature reading, the S23 Ultra was between 45 something to 46.2, while the 15 Pro Max showed 49 and 50 degrees briefly at certain spots, but the rest of the body maxed out at 45 degrees, so it's a win for the S23 Ultra. Performance wise, the S23 Ultra completed the test without any crashes versus one crash on the iPhone side. The Samsung brightness was always higher and sustained for longer periods, while the iPhone was exactly the opposite. Both delivered a poor screen chaining performance, but the iPhone was better. When it comes to the battery, the 15 Pro Max lost 12% going from 63 to 51, and the S23 Ultra lost 13% going from 77 to 64. Regardless which battery has a bigger capacity, but from an end user perspective, the S23 Ultra gave me a brighter display, a better gaming performance, zero crashes, and all of this with just 1% more. This part is very debatable and my opinion will never please everyone, so you are the judge here. But the overall win goes to the S23 Ultra and I'm not sure how the 15 Pro Max with this level of thermal management will be able to run console games as claimed by Apple. They also claimed a lot of good things about this phone that ended up to be worse. So I won't trust this until I test it myself. But anyways, that was my heavy workload test comparing the S23 Ultra versus the 15 Pro Max. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.